everything's applied where, everything is drawn where the force is applied. So I have a force by the fulcrum up at the fulcrum, a force by the string down at the string. There's another force that I was going to ask you about, but I'm not going to ask you now because I don't have time. Force by earth. How big is that force compared to the force by the string? The string has half the mass that the, that the plank does. So the force by the earth on the plank is twice as big as the force by the string on the plank. If you have a force downward at the, that's big at the center of mass and I take this pivot point right here as the axis of rotation, then the force by the fulcrum is not going to be causing a rotation about that point because the force by the fulcrum is applied exactly at that point. So you only have two forces and your choice is to pick A, B, C, D, or E for the force if there's a force applied on this end, way over here on the right, to keep it in equilibrium. So I don't want a net torque. I want the net torque to be zero so it doesn't start rotating. If the net torque is zero, uh, then this thing will just sit here. How is the force on the right, how should it be applied so that the net torque on that object about this pivot point is zero.